Dear colleagues, welcome to Europe this year 2024. My name is Thomas Cuisset and I'm here with Jens Lesson to discuss about when and how to treat side branch in non-left main bifurcation. Jens, why this question matters and why the side branch matters for our daily practice? That's such an excellent question because bifurcation treatment is most often complex and the complexity defines by the side plans. So the side plans is actually that stage that can uh, change the entire procedure. So the side plans is very important in bifurcation stenting. Yeah. And regarding the patient, what will be the criteria to decide sometimes to treat more or less the side branch during bifurcation PCI? Again, very important. Uh, of course, if it's a very frail patient and you want to have a quick procedure and do it simple, then you could start simple. But you could actually start simple in every procedure, taking everything into account and then develop stepwise and make choices during uh, the procedure whether or not to proceed with more complexity, but still stick to protecting of the side plans. And that's the first key issue, actually. So even if it's a small side plan, use two wires, then it's protective, and then you have choices and options. Yeah, and do you think the clinical presentation might also impact sometimes the bifurcation strategy when we have a STEMI patient coming, for example? Indeed, indeed. The more high-risk procedures, the more important it is to have a swift procedure which is effective. And of course, if it's too complex, it, it put too much uh, pressure on the entire situation. Yeah. And you can always come back. And just entering the cat lab in this specific moment when you treat you treat the main vessel, you did the pot, and how you will assess the side branch in non-left main bifurcation with the different tools we have. In, in that state, one of the most important tools, because it's a non-left main, is actually how is the patient doing? Are there ETD changes? Are there, are there maybe a, 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 a slow TME flow? Or is, is, is it a patient on pain? That will make a difference. But if I want to access even more, I think I will, uh, at that stage, just move on with the different steps in a, in a, a procedure. Stent the first, uh, the main vessel, then evaluate. If there is a problem in the side plans, then do the KISS, evaluate. And if there's still a problem, then evaluate again. And at that stage, I guess in most situations, I don't think that at that stage, uh, imaging may, may or, or physiology will prove much more. So to try to keep it simple and exactly. angio-based, yeah. I, yeah. I fully agree, that's, that's exactly my practice. So we decide to assess and then we have to treat it. So yeah. we have so many different options in the portfolio yeah. of today. Yeah. What would be your advice for our, for our colleague on this specific point? In this specific point, if it's a side branch with a certain diameter and certain length, and it's, it's very difficult to define a, a, a significant side branch, so normally we say if the operator thinks this side branch is significant and want to protect it or, or, or treat it, then we move on for treatment. So again, the treatment options would just to escalate, maybe with ballooning further to see if you can avoid it. And then if that's not possible, then bring in the second stent for the side branch. And it can be done in, in different way, as you know, the T, the tap, the culotte in this way. Yeah, of course, we this have way. Any, yeah. any option. And yeah. do you think DCB can play a role as a compromise sometimes between just balloon and, and drug eluting stent? I really like that question because DCB gives a possibility to build in yet a, a step in treating the side plans. So if you're not happy with the kissing result and you're considering a stent, then the DCB gives the option to actually try to make a treatment where you avoid bringing in metal. So we don't have the evidence yet, but it's a really appealing way forward for the future. So I really hope it will work. The, the, the crux of treating or not treating the side plans with a stent is actually dissections. And we have learned by DCBs to accept much more dissections yeah. because they actually heal over time. And I think that concept will add very much to bifurcation stenting in the yeah. future to keeping, uh, keeping the metal burden low. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Jens. I think it was, it was very clear. So finally, for, for the side branch, just the, the key learning for the side branch in, in non-left main, there is no uh, perfect solution for all the patients, but we have to decide on uh, each individual patient. We discussed that the patient will sometimes drive the, the decision. 
And finally, for the, for the assessment, we have to keep it simple and to do NGO-based in most of cases, while additional tools like imaging and physiology will be really restricted to very specific situations. And we've seen that when we have to treat this side branch in non-left main bifurcation, we have different options from balloon, drug cutting balloon, or even second stent in some selected cases. Thanks a lot.